We're here at the Barrel Elites Conference in New York City, and I'm joined by Adam Cardarelli from Automated Data. Adam, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So to get things started, Adam, can you tell me a little bit about your uh, platform, Automated Data, and what you do for your clients? Yeah, sure. So Automated Data is all about helping people understand and connect their data together. Throughout the entire conference, we've been hearing about you know, how much data exists, how much data is growing, and being able to manage it, connect it together for insights is becoming more difficult. So that is what you know, Automata Data does and, and our platform does. Nice. So there's been a lot of insightful conversations here at, at the uh, Better Latest Conference. Um, great ideas, lots of innovation. What do you think is the actual challenge or the gap in adoption of these technologies? Yeah, I think that's a great question. So um, a lot of conversations around data and AI. I really think there's probably three you know, gaps that exist. Um, and these probably have existed for a while, I think. One is just you know, the pure amount of fragmentation that exists within data, right? This is not a new problem, but it's one that continues to grow as more data comes to market. And, and the fragmentation with those, in those systems and really not being able to connect that is going to hinder your ability to generate insights, it's gonna hinder your AI models. And, and you know, so first it's really you know, bringing that connectivity together. Two is I think there's a big skills gap in the market, right? You know, there's a lot of uh, demand for expertise that you know, just doesn't exist yet. New technology, people are still learning. Uh, you know, the individuals in the market, you know, uh, don't exist in, in wide swaths. So, you know, that's that's a challenge. And and three, it's really around uh, data privacy and governance, right? Where does data come from? What models is it feeding? What environments within my organization is it feeding? So, you know, you want to make sure that you're not mixing testing data along with your production data, especially when you're making trade decisions. So, you know, I think those are the three main challenges that exist and are going to continue to exist for a while. Wonderful. Um, so many buzzwords and so much new tech. What are your thoughts on generative AI? Is generative AI the answer to a lot of these challenges? Yeah, you know, a lot, you know, it, it seems like almost everybody's putting AI in front of everything today. Um, I really don't think it's a one size fits all. Um, I think AI is really good at summarizing data and processing uh, documents and a lot of text. I think it's really fun for content creation. Uh, you know, we can see that throughout the market. Um, but I think it's really around, you know, having a balanced strategy. How can you use AI to augment human expertise and that skill and really, you know, be able to manage your costs from that perspective, right? We keep on hearing this reoccurring theme of more data, more connectivity needed. And, you know, there's only so much humans are going to scale. So being able to augment that with AI and, and, the, and the massive uh, processing ability that it brings is, is really you know, how you want to be thinking about the two. Very nice, thanks. And here at the conference, we are seeing a lot of allocators, investors, funds talk about their investment strategies and how they are navigating this space, especially with the new tech that's coming in. How do you see the investment landscape change in terms of traditional, alternative, automated? How are things changing? Yeah, so I think there's a lot of change happening right now in the uh, quantitative space, right? So I think you know, a lot of strategies are going beyond what they would consider uh, traditional uh, data and really looking at alternative assets. That could be climate, that could be things related to location, right? Um, and you know, the ability to connect that to your investment portfolio, the, the ability to connect that to your investment thesis is becoming more and more hard. Because when you're dealing with these alternative uh, investments, you know, they don't come with standard identifiers. As we think about traditional finance, you think about your QCIPs, ITINGS, ICING, CEDLs, FIGGIES, you know, PERMIDs, and RICs. Um, this is just text. So how do I you know, get a better understanding of how these alternative assets fit within my broader portfolio? Um, and I think that you know, is really you know, coming to change, right? Because again, end of day, whether you're looking at a, a CRM or you're thinking about your ERP, it's all about you know, how do I connect data to have a unified view so I have the real world understanding of, of what's happening. Um, and I think we're gonna continue to see a lot of change in that space. And you know, the ability to really understand how to bring it all together uh, is gonna become more and more uh, critical. Thanks, those are some very good insights. Uh, this is Adam Cardarelli from Automated Data. We are here at the Barrel Conference in New York City. Thank you.